another week, another blog post from Giants related to Farming Simulator 25. Today we learn about the bane of most children and some adults, Popeye's favorite canned veg, spinach. Now, according to the Food and Drug Organization of the United Nations, FAO, the biggest producers of spinach between 1994 and 2022 are China, the United States, Indonesia, Japan, Spain, France, Germany, Pakistan, Iran, and Turkey. There are, of course, others, but the quantities measured in tons fall off fairly quick. Spinach is an annual crop, so it needs to be planted and harvested typically within the same year and will die off over winter. In Farm Sim 25, with seasonal growth enabled, farmers will need to hit the fields in March or April, preferably March, to seed using a traditional seeder using approximately 10 liters of seed per hectare. With a yield of around 23,000 liters per hectare, your results, of course, will vary depending on how well you have prepared the field before and after seeding. I assume you'll still need to mulch, roll, fertilize, and weed our fields for maximum yield. Three months after seeding, be prepared with your first harvest using the Oxbow MKB 4TR harvester, and then three months after the first harvest, well, if you were on the ball, you just might be able to pull off a second harvest. Not bad for a crop that sells for an average of $660 per thousand liters. A one hectare field can bring in approximately 30,000 from the sale of spinach over the course of a single year. Now let's take a little closer look at the various growth stages and the ideal seed harvest harvest schedule for a given year. Field prep should be done between October the previous year and March because on the first day of March, if you want to maximize your spinach profits for the year, it's best that you get out into the fields and sow your oats. No, no that's, that's just a figure of speech. Sow your spinach. Come April, the young spinach will emerge from the ground in its first growth stage as seen here. The fast growing spinach will quickly fill out its leaves into its second growth state in May and then once we hit June, we'll be ready for its first harvest. It would be a good idea to jump right on that harvest in June because if you do, the spinach will bounce right back in July with its second version of its first growth state. This time it's a bit further along than it was when we saw it in April. By August, the plant has returned to the same state it was three months prior in May. And then finally in September, we are at the conclusion of the plant's growth cycle with its second ready to harvest state. Of course, if you run out of time and don't get the spinach off the field, the inevitable will happen and everything will wither away. Better luck next time, they say. Now let's circle back to the Oxbow Harvester, the MKB4TR. This tracked harvester looks like a hybrid between a traditional grain harvester with the intake reel in front and a sugar beet harvester in back. The front of the header is dominated by what looks like a vacuum system, which I can only expect is to stand the spinach up and get it ready for the intake reel to pull it into the cutter bar, which will run just above the ground to cut off the delicate leaves. From there, the crop is pulled into the middle of the header and up the cab to eventually be blown back into a holding compartment. The use of the blower is no doubt intended to separate heavy objects like stones from the leafy goodness held in the rear. Once the harvester is full, we will unload it, similar to how we unload a sugarcane trailer, by lifting the back up and dumping it into an awaiting transport trailer that will ideally be equipped with a movable floor or some other method of gently unloading the crop at its destination. Now let's talk a little bit about spinach. Aside from grass, this will be the first crop that is in the base game to offer a more than one harvest per year cycle. Could we see this dynamic on other crops added to the game for FS25? Remember, we saw 25 entries in the growth calendar on the collector's edition announcement, and we know about 23 of those 25 now. What could the other two be? Well, other leafy vegetables that can grow back in a year are argula, chard, cilantro, collard greens, cress, kale, and parsley. Could we see maybe one of those? In the game. This infographic does give me a little caution. I was hoping we would see three distinct growth counters for the three maps coming to Farming Simulator 25. 
that would bring more variety to the base game as a result, but also bring more variety to mod maps. In FS22, we've seen far too few custom growth calendars, in my opinion. Having different calendars on the base map means that by default, maps that are built using one of those base maps would have a different calendar, unless map makers, of course, changed it. By showing us a single info slide with the various stages for the crop based on named months, either they're showing us just one map's growth calendar or they're all the same. Now I feel that is a missed opportunity. If Giants is concerned that it's going to be too complex for players, well, players always have a choice of turning it off. And then players can just plant spinach whenever they want, wait three months and harvest, wait three more months and harvest again. Spinach is also likely going to be one of those crops that is going to be a direct to sale harvest. I don't really see too much market for dried spinach and as such I really don't see us being able to put spinach in any sort of a silo. Now we may have production like the soup factory from the premium expansion to make Popeye's favorite canned spinach. Finally we have some new confirmed machines and some returning machines coming back to Farming Simulator 25. Here we see the Agrimaz Aquila Drive 400 seater and just take a look at that cloud that is just above the cedar with its dark center and brightly lit border. Clouds really do look a whole lot better in FS25. In this next image we have confirmed the Volvo Globetrotter is back as well as the Crampy 3-in-1 trailer. In this image we have a really good look at the dirt mask for the new Oxbow. In this image I want to draw your attention to the flowering trees in the background. Lastly, let's go and pick one of the growth images and zoom in on all the buildings in the background. From left to right, we have what looks like a bale storage building for Farming Simulator 22, but this one's hiding a harvester of some sort. Maybe it's the spinach oxbow harvester without a header. In the barn, we have what appears to possibly be a Great Plains cedar. Continuing on, we see what might be a placeable sunflower bale object because this is very much in a different place on the map than where we saw that bale object last week. We might also be looking at a silo storage building and an animal pen of some sort. And then lastly, a building way off to the right, we have maybe a greenhouse or some other building with a open skylight. We are just over 13 weeks to go until Farming Simulator 25 is released to the world. What do you think of what you have seen and heard so far today with respect to spinach, how it grows, and the harvest process? If you are on PC and have been thinking about pre-ordering, then please consider using my partner code FarmerKline to pick up your eShop copy from the Giant Store. If you'd like to pick up a physical copy, be it either the collector's edition or a standard disc version for PC, Xbox, or PlayStation, I have an affiliate link linked down in the description below. What news might be revealed in the coming week? When will we see fact sheets start? Stay tuned to the channel by hitting the subscribe button, and if you have not done so, also click on that notification bell. That way you're going to surely get notifications on all future video releases around Farming Simulator 25. Until next time, happy farming.